guys so I thought I would do a quick demo on my daily daytime routine um, so I'm just gonna go through all the products really quick so you guys exa know exactly what I'm gonna be using so first off I'm gonna use the um, tea tree um, face wash which is this one this is basically what I use to help with any breakouts, any spots, because I get quite spotty. Um, so I'll be using this first. And then as my second cleanse, just to make sure that it's really attacking all the nastiness that's on my skin, I use my second cleanse, which is this beautiful Himalayan charcoal. Uh, this is a clay wash, which is purifying, so it's good for getting rid of blackheads and everything else. Also opens up your pores and gets all the dirt out. Toner, drops of youth, obviously. Then exfoliation, liquid peel, absolutely love it. Brilliant stuff and you'll be able to see it working later. After that, it's the serum. So I'll be using drops of youth. After that, eye cream, elderflower. And then last but not least is moisturiser and my new favourite, vitamin E gel mist. So I'm just going to go ahead and start on and I will talk you through it while I'm doing it. So first off, I'm just going to use this facial cleansing brush and just wet my face with lukewarm water. Make sure I get all the areas. Now normally when I do a double cleanse, which is pretty much every time um, if I've worn makeup I will use the chamomile uh, butter just because it melts the makeup and it's gentle for your eyes so it's a really good one to use but just for today I'm going to be using the tea tree and the charcoal clay as uh, so it's the first time I'm using the Himalayan charcoal clay wash so I'm rather excited so I'm using the soft end and I'm just going around in circular motions across my face to really buff the skin and clean it. Now with the nose I'm going to use this part, which is quite a bumpy part, and I'm just going to really focus on that bit because that's the bit where I suffer the most with breakouts and blackheads. use the horrible face and then forehead this is where I also get quite a few breakouts so I'll be using the soft side to apply and then the more coarse side to really get in and scrub it'll also help with any dead skin that's on there as well just go over lightly on the rest of the face now I can rinse this off I've done that, I'm just going to wipe my face with a luxury flannel from Body Shop. Just wipe all the product away. It's all up my nose. Now with the tea tree, you can feel it working on your skin because you get that tingly feeling on your face. And it's a great one to use, especially for teenagers and those who suffer with breakouts and um, blemishes it's really good for that so second cleanse now I've done the first I'm going to use the clay oh that's a lot different than what I was expecting so it's like a very liquidy charcoal sort of but I'm going to apply it with my hands first it smells lovely though Gonna make sure it's all on everywhere and then I will use my brush to just really scrub into the skin not too hard because I don't want it causing any damage so light bit it's all fluffy
done that I'm gonna wash this off and then I'll be right back okay so now I'm back you can see my skin is extremely clean it's, it's all nice and shiny now the next task is to uh, exfoliate so vitamin C make sure your skin is dry and just pump two squares should be enough it's completely clear but it's very runny so you just add it to the areas that you want to really work on we use it on there and there my nose and my forehead as well and my chin don't put this on your eyes i would not recommend it but it's a really good one to use on tattoos your feet um there's a quite a few areas that you can use this with and it's just a multi-purpose thing it's absolute bro so i'm going to use the coarser side i'm just going to show you guys exactly what it does so after rubbing it for a little while you'll get these little bumps where it's like either dead skin or it's dirt from your pores and it collects in these little white bubbles as you can see there's a couple there There's another one there, there's a few there. And this exfoliates your skin and it literally, every time I do it, it literally leaves my skin feeling squeaky. Because I can literally do that afterwards and my skin will squeak. So I'm just doing on the areas where it's mostly got dry skin. I'm not trying to be too hard because it will do its job. With just a little bit of pressure, not too much. Move my hair so it's not out of the way. Forehead, because I've got a giant one. So, as you guys can see, there's a lot of little bubbles of product where it's all joined together. That is what I need to wash off because that is the dirt as well as the product. Uh, that was on my skin left and after exfoliating that's what I'm left with so this is why I always tell everyone exfoliate at least two three days every two to three days then I have a problem it should be all right with breakouts shouldn't have many problems it's a lot easier that way I'm just gonna wipe this off and then I'll be right back so I'm back my skin is really, really, really soft. It's silky, it's smooth. I've dried it off, I've washed everything off. Now it's time for toner. So I'm using the Drops of Youth. This helps your serum sink in and it's really good for your skin. You don't need too much though, so only put a small amount on and just dab it into the skin. can you do this with a cotton pad so you know that you're not wasting any product put it straight on the cotton pad so you have a small 20p size on the pad and then just dab it into the skin this will make it quite dewy quite sticky always remember to include your neck in your routine this ages as well as this so I'm just going to let this sit in for a little minute and then I'll be right back. Hi, so I'm back. Serum time. So this is the Drops of Youth Serum. I'm just going to add three little drops. So one there, one there, and one there. Oh, a bit too much. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to rub it in. The Drops of Youth range is brilliant for um, helping with signs of ageing, especially if you are a young mum and you are currently exhausted, it will help you look less tired. Believe me, I use it. But yes, just 
just make sure you rub it in let that toner work in first give it time to soak in and then apply your serum about a couple of minutes after and give that time to soak in as well so now i'm going to apply the elderflower cooling eye gel just need the tiniest little bit just going to do the underneath of my eyes and this will stop any puffiness and it'll also cool them down so if you get really sore eyes really irritated eyes it's a really good one to have and it's great for spring and summer when you're starting to suffer with hay fever uh, put a bit on your eyes and a little bit on your nose and you won't sneeze for quite a while so I'm just going to dab that in give that time to set in and then I'll be right back <clears throat> okay so my gel has now gone in, my bags look a little bit less heavy, so now I'm going to add my final thing, which is the Vitamin E Gel Mist. It's definitely my number one at the moment, so let's add this. Vitamin E I have done a small video on, um, if anybody wants to have a watch. And I'll just explain the benefits of vitamin E for your skin, as well as for um, the raspberry that's in it, the raspberry extract. But yes, this is my skin. Um, I hope you all enjoy the video and I'll see you all soon.